welcome back to our channel ladies and gentlemen thank you for your support a few years ago the entire kenya kwanza government came up with what many people thought was a propaganda and it was the worst propaganda of our times it started with Dennis Tumbi who revealed to us that in the previous regime where William Ruto was a deputy president where William Ruto was taking the privileges salary security and all the privileges that came with it as a deputy president there was a container of blood and Dennis Tumbi revealed to us that people who held different political ideologies those who were not reading from the same script as Uhuru Kenyatta were abducted and they were tortured in that container of blood. Of course, there was no evidence. And then they were maybe killed and cast in Rivayala. And then William Ruto himself, more than 10 times, went ahead and said that this was true. And at some point, William Ruto revealed that there was a department within the police called Special Service Unit that had a role of dealing with either criminals and in this sense, those who did not agree with the politics of Uru Kenyatta. And William Ruto said that he had disbanded it and told Kenyans that never again shall we hear or will we hear of any news about Kenyans being abducted or a special police unit killing innocent Kenyans. Wale ambao tulishindana na wao, watulize boli, waliharibu inchi yetu, watupatie na fasi, tuifanyie ukarabati na tuipange iweze kwenda mbeli. Walikuwa na miaka mitano ambayo walitumia kuharibu mambo ya nchi yetu. Uchumi ikaharibika, tukawa na madeni, mambo ya usalama ikaharibika, polisi wakabadilika, wakawa ni watu wakuaua wa Kenya badala ya kuwalinda. Tumevunja, ile ilikuwa inaitua special sijui nini ya polisi ambayo ilikuwa inaua wa Kenya kiholela. That is the history we want to forget. Let our competitors not remind us of the many things they did against this country. We have also a plan on how to secure this country so that we avoid the shame of Kenyans killed through extrajudicial killings and put in Yala River and other rivers. We are going to secure this country going into the future. So I want to promise the people of Kenya that Kenya is on sound footing and we have a plan that will take this country into the future. You know, they made several allegations that was not the only one. But then, the Gen Z is revealing another character of William Samuel Ruto. You know, they say that the true character of a man is known in, during times of crisis. That is when you know who a man is. And we are in a crisis that needs leadership and real decision from William Samuel Ruto, because for the very first time, there is a complete, surprisingly, a paradigm shift of demonstrations of people seeking for their rights in a manner that he has never seen before, because innocent people are carrying placards to the streets. And William Ruto has realized that these people cannot be divided along their tribal or political lines. And so what has he done? It seems people are going back to Ribayala. The International Commission of Jurists is warning William Samuel Ruto that there is something he's doing that contravenes both the national and international laws. But before I look at that, Meguna Meguna is warning that we are soon going back to Ribayala. This is what Meguna is saying. Meguna is saying that there's an urgent public notice 
and he's saying that I'm told that the secret death squads, Kwekwe and flying squad goons, are abducting patriots who took part in the Tuesday and Thursday protests and are disa disappearing them. Please report all abductions and disappearances under hashtag tracking abductions and let's organize the hashtag mother of all protests next week if they aren't released over the weekend. The state and government has no capacity to stop the revolution. Stay focused and fearless. Viva hashtag Gen, uh, Gen Z. Viva millennials. Viva power to the people. Hashtag revolution now. Hashtag revolution continues. I must declare here that Biguna Miguna blocked me from his Twitter handle. And so I just got this and I want to believe this is a true account. And Biguna is telling us that some people are being abducted. And it is very true that we know there are some content creators and people who took part that were arrested and people have been, their whereabouts are not known. And we're going to say that this is deliberate. They could be headed to Rivayala. The International Commission of Jurists is saying this. They are also warning William Samoy Ruto. The ICG urges DCI police to reveal arrested protesters' whereabouts because already the government wanted to. And this is what is recorded that the International Commission of Jurists has called upon the director of criminal investigations and the inspector general of the national police service to immediately reveal the whereabouts of all the persons arrested during the anti-finance bill protests and uh, in a statement on saturday the body also urged the dci and the national police service to abide by all due process requirements that the constitution mandates and this is what they said we call upon the director of public prosecutions, DPP, and judicial officers to also be on the lookout for such violations in the criminal justice chain. And um, further, it is said that ICG expressed alarm over the allegations that some of those arrested during the protests are being held in communicado. Now, basically, ladies and gentlemen, the government has gone back to the dark days. Anytime the government is cornered, they will resort to what we call intimidation, maiming people and killing them. Despite all these warnings, I don't think William Ruto will listen to them because I saw what happened during the first demonstrations when Azimir went to the streets to demand for the same rights that the, that the Gen Z has gone to seek. And Ruto is a very stubborn president. This government is very stubborn because they are being supported by the USA. I will always say this. The reason why you realize that our government is conduct, conducting itself with a lot of pride and they don't care is because they have a prefect by the name Meg Whitman. There isn't any one day you will see the US White House talking about intimidation of Kenyans talking about the torture on the streets, you will not. And I remember when William Ruto wrote a letter to diplomats and ambassadors, and he accused the opposition of trying to overturn his, according to him, duly elected government. They convened a meeting, they, they, they summoned Raila, they wanted their Zimio to explain what they were doing. And I remember Zimio told them that we are on the streets because this is our constitutional right. America has always postured itself under the guise of people who nurture and will always accept democratic, democratic rights of a, a nation, but they don't. Now, the Gen Z has brought a new level of, 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 of uh, energy that has never been there before. And they seem so determined. And you know, the old tricks cannot work. The old tricks have always been Wajaluo, Kiviao, Wakikuyu, Kiviao, you know, all this. And then they segregate Raila 
and they, they, they turn it to be a tribal politics. And they say that, you know, Raila Anajitakia is going there for self-aggrandizement. It's true that already William Ruto suffers legitimacy. He suffers because when Kenyans go to the street and they are telling you, we don't want this, and then you meet them with the, with the wrath of the police, then what are you doing? Because you just know that what you are doing is against the people. You know that what, the only people who are happy about it are the uh, Britain Hood institutions. But then arresting our youths during the weekend only meant that they wanted the, 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 the weekend to find them because they will say they cannot take them to court during the weekend. And then when Miguna says that we have a special, you know, when Reke, when, when Reke is mentioned, then you, you, you realize that something is wrong here because Miguna is talking of uh, Kwekwe or Kwekwe squad and flying squad. You know, these people don't reason. The Kweko squad and the reason when they come in their Subarus, they will pick you up and you will be no more. And so this is meant to intimidate because once you, you pick those youth, you shall this intim intimidation, most of them or some of them will say, hey, happened to Kubaya, and then they will stop what they were their, their, their mission. It's meant to intimidate. And number two. It is meant to create confusion because if you target the rain leaders, these are the people who coordinate. Because from where I sit, I want to believe that there is no politician coordinating this. Polit politicians would always go with their goons. Every politician have got, has got people behind them. And I want to believe that this is a Gen Z just going to express their displeasure. And when you, you, you abduct the ring leaders, then they are confused. They will start afresh and they coordination will be lost somewhere. It's also meant to act as a sideshow, you know, destabilize the mind. So people should start talking about, you know, killing and they stop a little bit. The, 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 it's like a, a break sort of to, to, to make sure that they forget the real mission ahead of them. But you see, William Ruto had told us about the SS unit, he disbanded it. And when we are told about Quaker Squad and Flying Squad, he's bringing back, you know, we're going back to the old days where the president was Alpha and Omega. The president did not accept any criticism. And I mean, how do you, as a president, decide that you want to torture young people just because they have gone to the street? We are going back to the Nyayo days. And then, you know, the fear is, we know about Sri Lanka and we know about France and we know all these about these revolutions. They begin with, with, with the young people. And you see, it when, be, when it begins with a young person, those young people have got a reason why they are lamenting on the streets. And William Ruto knows he enjoys the most intelligence in this country. And he knows why those people are on the street. If I were William Ruto, I would sit down and reason with them. In fact, even if he wants to listen to the international community and listen to World Bank and um, IMF, he should balance. Because it seems that he has forgotten completely the people of Kenya. We have a president who does not care. He only cares about IMF. In fact, William Ruto would have made a very good president after taking elections, taking a victory in a manner that is not understood. He would have just decided that I want to work for Kenyans. We people would have forgotten all the mess in boomers, you know. But now he's reminding people. And you see, the, the, the Gen Z also suffered. They were promised quite a lot. Nothing is coming forth. And that's why they're on the street. So this idea of killing, abducting, and maybe taking people to Yala, maybe there's another container of blood. We should now ask it to be. Because when you arrest people, basically abducting them, I don't know, someone was telling me that Ule Mtoto wa JB Muturi maybe niya ametumana, achukuliwe, atoke kwa mandamanu, ndiyo aibu itoke because it was, it was going to be bad. Meguna has ditched William Ruto. You know, Meguna also waited for something to come. But the people who used to support William Ruto, Meguna, Okuro Court, uh, we had people used to support Miguna, I mean support President Ruto. They have abandoned him. The only person who is still trying to be lukewarm, somehow telling him, 
is Ahmed Nasir. But anytime Ahmed Nasir wants to tell Ruto something, he doesn't go directly. He must, you know, insert Raila's name so that he's seen to be attacking Raila. Yet he's sending a message. And uh, of course, Ngunyi Mutai switch calm and is now, I think, he's being paid well because he's the only person who has remained with William Ruto. So ladies and gentlemen, um, Aluta Continua, you know, you cannot stop an idea whose time has come. If this generation has decided that we want to liberate our country, they will definitely emancipate this country from the yokes of, 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 of tyrant. We're going to call them despots. And like someone said, let the, J, the, the Gen Z go, let them make their mistakes, let them go there. If they are so determined that they walk out in numbers, no intimidation will stop them. Even if you decide to kill them, and let's say uh, they turn out in their millions of numbers and you start killing them, will you kill all of them? Because I know the millennials are watching and they will join them. The only reason why they are still keeping at bay, we do not want the government to start saying that we know who is sponsoring. And so ladies and gentlemen, this is sad, but I know God is with us. That is why the policeman who went there to, to throw tear gas at, 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 at peaceful demonstrators also suffered, even though I say this with a very sad heart and a heavy heart because that police officer is a parrot and I know he was saying what am I going to tell my, my, my family, my children but then it is a two-way traffic what if he had killed someone, what about those who have, who have been killed, they also have families and parents are feeling bad so it's, it's, we should not subject ourselves to this. Let's listen to the generation. You know that our problem is not taxation, but it is expenditure, wastefulness, and, and, and the waste that is going on, and corruption. And Kenyans read them. The Auditor General and the Control of Budget reveals all this. And then you want us to keep quiet. You want to tell us that someone is sponsoring. Do you think people are zombie? People understand. We are not zombies. People read newspapers and we know that there is a lot of corruption and these are things that William Ruto can eradicate he can even call a meeting and say while I was shy to work a full supposed better and we deal with people. what you see we see corrupt people being retrieved from jail people winning cases corruption cases and it's very sad so on this you can't tell us that someone is sponsoring and you you want to kill people the, this generation have got no jobs yet they've got degrees I mean William Ruto must do better. Otherwise, there's a revolution. No one can stop an idea which time has come and repeat. A revolution is coming. I don't know whether we listen to the international community, but I don't think this international body, Ruto, doesn't listen to the warnings. As long as he's with Joe Biden, he's with Meg Whitman. This is the reason why I say that Kenyans must rise up and demonstrate against the hidden power of White House. Because I told you, that we're being ruled from White House. William Root is a conduit to take instructions and is doing it. The last time I checked, ladies and gentlemen, we are in an autonomous country. We have our independence. We gained it by blood. People fought to kick out the colonial masters. But the new colonialists, the new colonialism has come back and with a lot of force. It must take this generation with the support of the other generations to restore our dignity, to restore the confidence in this country, to emancipate our country from the, from the, the, from the cruel hands of this colonialist. And as I always say, we shall overcome.